Hello, so how is a foreclosure title search different from a regular title search? This is Dave again at titlesearch.com and a foreclosure property by definition has a lot of stuff going on with it which makes title searching that much more important but also that much more complex. A property in foreclosure is in motion, it's moving right then. There are liens, uh, there's a foreclosure notice, there's default, there's all kind of controversy with that property which needs to be taken into account when the search is being done. It's not a static standalone property that's not moving anywhere. A typical title search has an owner that just owns the property. There's no movement one way or another to sell it. Uh, there's a, a loan that's in place that's static, it's stable, there usually are no liens, there's no defaults. Once you throw foreclosure into the mix, now you have an owner that's more likely to be delinquent on other items. They're more likely to be um, in default on things like property taxes or homeowner association fees. Uh, and it stands to reason that any type of financial distress is going to carry on to other parts of their life, which is going to accrue back to the property, which makes a foreclosure title search more complex. The loan itself being in default makes even the ownership more complex. Who owns the property at that point in time? Is it the lender? Is it the borrower? Is it a homeowner association? Is it a lien holder? Knowing how to look through those records to see what the status of the foreclosure is. Is it just a notice of default or list pendants? Is it a uh, active foreclosure? Is it scheduled for um, an auction is it actually owned by the lender is it an REO property those are all things that go into reviewing those title records to make sure that it's known what the status is also important to verify the lender to see if the lender itself um, is correct in their foreclosure did they get an assignment of the loan to them or is there an assignment to another lender that way matching up with the the most recent assignment to the foreclosure documents is an important way to make sure that that foreclosure doesn't have any defects in it by itself the title search might also give you some insight into the condition of the property. If there are open permits, if there's zoning violations, if there's clean and lean ordinance um, violations, that will give you an insight into how well the property is kept up and what kind of condition it might be in. Uh, even police reports sometimes give you a condition uh, report on the property. Uh, the tax assessee is an important uh, subject to get some records from to see who's paying the taxes. Has the lender taken over the tax payments? If they have, that means that that property owner is probably uh, stop paying altogether. You also want to see if there are any occupants of the property. If the property uh, has people living in it, if it's the owner, it might be difficult to get them out after foreclosure. If it's a tenant, if that owner has put a tenant in that property, that tenant may have rights and you may not be able to, as an investor, immediately occupy the property until that tenant is dealt with. You want to look to see if any prior refinance uh, instruments have been cleared properly if there's any delinquency on those, if those are paid off or paid off in full, and that the release is actually filed in the land records. While you're at it, you probably want to have the title searcher pull some comparable sales to see what other properties are selling for in that neighborhood that are similar. More importantly, to see who's buying them. You may find a buyer for your investment property just by looking at the comparable sales to see what other investors or uh, corporations are buying uh, properties in that neighborhood that could be uh, uh, maybe a potential lead to sell your property to. And then if it's currently owned by the uh, bank, if it's an REO property, how long have they had it? Have they been holding on to this property for a couple months, a couple years? That might affect what the status of the title is. If the longer it's there, the more stable it might be. More importantly, how um, motivated that lender is to sell you the property if they've had it for a couple years. So uh, for more information, you can click on the bottom of this video. It goes to titlesearch.com. Uh, we'll see you on the next video uh, about title records research. And if you know somebody else who would love to watch this video, click on the share button, send it to them by email, and they can get the same information you did and you guys can talk about what you saw.